to unwind it uh, to make it easier, the string is backed through uh, to where you can just pull it, as you can see here, and then unwind it. Now you can have the runner go as fast or slow as possible, whatever is good for you. If you ever get a kink like you see here, the person that's holding the, the chain can do some maneuvers without having to just drop the whole chain. As you can see, flipping it actually will fix it, but sometimes the kink might be bad enough that you need to go ahead and drop everything and handle the kinks, because if you mess up the kinks and you pull it too tight, you could break the chain. So you stretch it, touch both stakes until the judges raise their hands, and then you're ready to wind it up. All right, when you're gonna wind it up, you wanna reach straight back five, uh, four or five feet. Uh, you gotta be consistent with that and lay the links straight on top of each other. As you can see here, we're starting at 25. We'll reach back five feet, push it straight forward. Now make sure you do not let go of the links you've already put on top of them. All right, so when you get to the end, um, to get ready to tie it, make sure you follow it down to the tag ends and keep it very tight. You'll take the, the rope, wrap it around it at least twice, and then create an opening and stick it through and pull it tight. Uh, whenever you're going to throw it, you want to have it already crossed so the tongs are on both sides, and then you pull and bring it together, and it makes it a good circle.